here's the uh, one end of the track system. This is the end where the uh, greenhouse will be closed, so the last hoop will be placed at this end. And as you can see, I've got the elbows in with the plastic plumber's tubing on the other side. I had to join several different pieces together in order to elongate the track because my bed is 11 and a half feet long and um, the um, tubing that I used, this electrical conduit piece is only 10 feet long so I had to use um, other pieces and improvise on the design but I think it all worked out. I went with a three foot piece of copper that I cut in half. This is a three quarter inch copper. I also got the cap so the insects don't get in there and there's the bracket. Now here's a tip if you're gonna use a uh, an end piece pallet um, like the one I put in I got all I had also the idea of drilling a hole through the pallet to um, reinforce the, um, the track so if you want to save some money and save on certain parts the hole through the pallet here would act as a, um, a stopper and a bracket to hold the uh, track up anyway just an idea here's the other side here with the copper piece and uh, all in all, I think it worked well. I had to exchange the um, the holder here for a larger one because I found that the track needed to be higher, to be raised up higher. And this piece here, this part here, actually comes in different sizes. Shorter piece, some are shorter and some are longer, and I got the longer one. And um, also, to the um, holder here also comes in different sizes depending on the size of your um, your tubing or your uh, pipes. And here's a view of my uh, my plants. Anyway, uh, my next video will be about uh, how I put the fabric cover together. I wasn't going to use fabric; I was going to use plastic. Uh, but I ended up with um, a couple of pop-up gazebo covers and decided to uh, use it as protection from the intense heat and sun. If you have any questions or comments, love to hear back from you.